Ade TV KPM Hmm Is this the right way? Chris? Y yes, yes Miss Anin Are you sure you know where you're going? We're supposed to take the left intersection five minutes ago Uh. Yes, Miss Anin. I know the right way. I'm a very experienced camper. This is the correct way. Trust me, trust me. Alright, I'll trust you. Ooh. Chris, yes? that's a dead end. Are we lost? Um, you know what? I think we should have used the map. I yeah. told you. See? Sorry. <laughs> Now what are we, what are we gonna do? Yeah. How are you doing? You are now watching Menengah Atas with me, Chris MJ. And the subject we will be learning today is Kesusasteraan Inggris. And with me in studio, all the way from SMK Convent Ipoh, is Miss Hanen. How are you, teacher? I'm very fine. How are you, Chris? I'm good. I'm much better now that you're here. Alright, Miss Hanen. Um, before we actually proceed with today's class, right. I would like to invite you to um, apply hand, sanitize, hand sanitizer. Is that okay? Oh, definitely. Okay, here, here, is, here you go. Um, and throughout the class for today, we will also be keeping our mask on. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's the SOP now. And also, our social distance will not be less than one meter. All right, Miss Hanin, what are we learning today? What is the topic for today's uh, uh, lesson? Oh, well, today, we are going to learn about a novel called The Lost King. The Lost King. Yes. So was that why we were lost as well? Yes, earlier? that's the reason why we were lost in the wilderness. Okay, nice. Now, just like every classroom, mm -hmm. we need classmates, am I right? True. So, we do have some of your students <laughs> online with us. Hi, everyone. Let's get to know them. Hi, look at those students all ready for today's class, all the way from... Uh, SM, SMK Convent Ipoh as well. Now, before we proceed, I would like to get to know them. So maybe you can introduce your name, uh, school. You don't have to because we all from the same school, and maybe your ambition, right? So let's start with, um, let's start with Janusha. Hi, Janusha. Hello. Um, good afternoon. My name is Janusha Nandakumar. I'm from SMK Convent, and my ambition is to become a lawyer. Wow, mm. lawyer. Okay, Janusha, thanks so much. And next, I would like to get to know Yar, Yar, Yarzish. Hi, everyone. My name is Yashara Silveraju. And my ambition is be to become a graphic designer. A graphic designer. And next, uh, we have Twinkle. Hi, Twinkle. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Khan Twinkle, and my ambition is to become a kindergarten teacher. Nice to meet you, Tinko. Very unique name, actually. Nice to meet you. True. Yep. And uh, next, I would like to get to know Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Nur Sophia Yunahani Binti Nur Hisham, and my ambition is to become a history lecturer. Wow, history lecturer. That is amazing. And uh, next, I would like to get to know Jamila. Hi, Jamila. Hi, my name is Jamila Alina. I'm from SMK Convent Ipoh and my ambition is to become a lawyer. A lawyer as well. We've got two lawyers in the room today. And last but not least, let's get to know Sankirtana. Hi. Hello, my name is Sankirtana Venu Murali and my ambition is to become a lawyer. A lawyer as well? <laughs> oh, wow. It's something, something for today's class. You're yes. all going to be lawyers. And uh, before we actually proceed with today's class, Miss Hanin, mm -hmm. I would like to ask my friends as well. Is everyone ready for the class? If you're ready, give me two thumbs up. Yes, they are ready. Right. 
But uh, Miss Anin, how about we give them some time to prepare their materials, get your stationaries out and also the book, right? Uh -huh. The Lost King. So we'll be focusing on that today. And we'll be right back here on Menengah Atas, Dede TV, KPM. KPM Welcome back to Menengah Atas with me, Chris MJ. And today's subject is very interesting. We are learning kesusasteraan Inggeris. And with me as well is Miss Hanin all the way from SMK Convent Ipoh. Now, Miss Hanin, today's topic, mm -hmm. we will be learning more on the Lost King. Is that correct? That is correct, Chris. Okay, so before that, I would like to once again check my friends on Google Meets. Are they ready? So if you're ready, give me a thumbs up for today's lesson. Amazing. Well, Miss Hanin, shall we start today's class? Over to you. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. All right, students. So today we're going to learn about the novel The Lost King. Now, this is one of the novels that is under the subject Kesusastra and Inggris 2206. Okay. So if you're going to learn this subject, you know that there are actually two novels. So the, this for this particular lesson, we are going to learn about the Lost King by Scott Gardner, right? An Australian writer. Right, so for today, what are we going to go through? We are going to identify and describe the plot structure, sequence of events, and also identify, describe, and discuss characters, their roles, and the development of these characters in the text. And then we're going to identify and examine themes, messages, and issues in the text, okay? So this is the learning outcomes for today's lesson. So by the end of this lesson, you, the students, will be able to identify and describe at least two parts of the plot, one character and one theme, all right? So are you ready? Yes, teacher. OK, so this is the synopsis, con uh, the content for this lesson, excuse me. So we have the synopsis, plot, characters, themes, and our exercise. Okay. So. Let's look at what the story is about. Now, this story is about the main character, Peter King, who we call Kingy. Now, Kingy never wanted to go on the wilderness camp. He was persuaded to go to the trip by his teacher, Mr. Pearson, who contacted his mother. So there's a little bit of push by the teacher and working uh, together with the mother here, right? Okay. So she was the one who agreed on his behalf. So he's very reluctant to go. So Kingy was put in a navigation exercise. Now, what is a navigation exercise? The students were given a map and GPS to okay. find the campsite. So they had to go on the trip themselves. Mm. OK, now his group, they have three other members. So he had to do it with Emily, a sarcastic popular girl. Okay. Um, sorry, the new girl, Emily the sarcastic popular girl, Bethany. Okay. Right, so there's a difference there. And of course, primary school tormentor, <gasps> Sully. He was in the same group, he's Yes, bullied? so school tormentor here. Oh. Now, Chris, if yes. you were put in a group with your former bully wow. who traumatizes you. Yeah, I, I would be so scared and just frozen. Exactly. Can you work together? Can you survive together? So that's why this story is so interesting. Yes. Okay. So they were only given a map and only a 
GPS tracker. tracker. Sorry. Okay. And Emily only brought her water bottle. So these three things, the other things are already at the campsite. Now, this is the problem because yeah. there's not a very strong relationship between the members. They, of course, will start arguing. They have mm. disagreement, mm. which led them off the track and they got lost. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just like us. Yes. Okay. So what are we going to do? How are they going to survive? So they went through a series of obstacles from sleeping in a small cave, trudging through the ferns. Now, we're talking about Australian ferns here. Very high, very deep ferns. And then swamps. Okay? And also, the only thing that will help them survive is only their water bottle. And there was a situation where they lost the water bottle and they had to find it. All right? And then, the most important thing, Emily got injured. Oh, no. So they had to piggyback her all the way to their camping destination. Okay. Now, after two days of hiking, they were able to reach their camping destination only to find their teachers and their classmates are no longer there. Oh, my goodness. Huh. All those work, what's going to happen? But later, very shortly later, they were rescued by a ranger who brought oh. them to their awaiting search team of family, teachers, and schoolmates. Wow, okay. Happy ending. So that's a happy ending. Okay. So no worries there. Okay. So this is the synopsis. Right. Now, as student literature students, we are going to look at the synopsis, but then look at the plot. Ooh. Right. Now, before we go into this plot, I would like to ask my students, one of them. Okay. So, Sophia, can you tell me? Yes, Miss. All right. Thank you, darling. Can you tell me what are the two stages in plot? Two stages of plot. Yes. Um, plot usually has five elements that is focused on, such as exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and the moment or the ending. Okay. So there's a lot there. She's giving more yeah. than two. Fantastic, yeah. darling. Amazing. Good job. All right. So plot actually has six. Okay. But you have given me more than two. Fantastic. Very good. Okay, so whenever you learn a story, you have to divide it into three parts. Okay. The beginning, the middle, and then the end. All right? And now, during the beginning, there are two sections. All right? We have the exposition and we yes. have the rising action. Right? Okay. And in the middle, we have actually falling action here. And then, climb, uh, and in the middle part, we have the climax, the falling action. And then the end, we have the uh, resolution and the conclusion. Okay. All right. So these are the parts of plot. Now let's look through it. Now this is, as we know, the chart. We are going to go into the novel itself, the part of it, the parts that we find in a novel. So exposition, sure. the beginning. So what happened in the story? So this is the first part when Kingy was forcefully persuaded to join the school wilderness camp. Okay. Right, so we know the beginning of the story. Then we have the conflict. What is happening here? The conflict here is that Kingy was put in a group with Bethany and Sully. Okay. And because they don't have, there's no a good relationship between this group, they have a lot of disagreement that got them lost into the, in the wilderness, right? And then we have rising action. So rising action is after the conflict, what are the other things that created more tension inside the group? Okay. All right. So they went through a series of obstacles like hiking hills, trudging through the swamps and getting bitten by leeches. So that is the rising action. That's the rising action okay. because you add more problem, add more problem to the conflict. Right. Okay. So there's going to be a threshold where it's going to Smash is going to collapse like you cannot take it anymore. So that is called. That is actually the called climax. climax. Okay. Now this climax, there will be a peak. Okay. So the peak here is that it will change the course of the story. So the story was here they were yes. already fighting, all right, arguing, okay. and even going through all this tough, tough situation. Right. Now the problem here is, Emily, was injured. <gasps> okay. So they face a situation where what is going to happen? 
what is going to happen here? Are they going to start bickering? Still bicker, 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 and they're going to fight and have a lot of disagreement, created so much tension? Yes. Or are they going to help poor Emily? Mm. So this is the turning point, in right. a way, of the story. And it's wonderful here in the climax because we're going to learn about how the characters change. Yeah. Are they going to be their old self? Yeah. Their old behavior? Fight again, I don't like you. Yeah. Um, you know, because Sally and Bethany don't like each other. Um, Kingy and Emily is trying to keep the peace but then have to deal with all, the, uh, all yeah. of the bickering and the argument. So in the end, falling action. So this is what we call the, when the peak of stress, the tension is there, the falling action happens, they decided, let's work together. Mm. Because we need to survive. Okay. All right. They were stuck in the wilderness for two, two, um, two days. Two days, okay. So work together, what are we going to do? Emily is already being carried, uh, Emily has already been injured. Now what happens to Emily? is that she was, um, in a way, she was, uh, I think she broke her leg, yes. Mm. She had a swollen ankle, all right? And so, they still had to go and find the camping site. Now, what's going to happen there? You know, Miss Sanin, mm -hmm. as you were sharing this, I can't even imagine as a reader mm -hmm. that someone would actually stop at the climax. True. Because at the climax, it's like the peak, right? Yes. Okay. And what is it what we want to know? What, what, what happens happen? next? Exactly. Okay. All right. So they worked together and carried Emily all the way to the camping site. Wow. All right. Now, if you were just teenagers, right? Mm. Right, Chris. You, you, you have the same yeah. size. I, I am a teenager. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Young. Okay. Okay. So are you going to sacrifice your energy? Because you have been walking, hiking up all the way for like yes. more than more, more than one day to find a camping site. Y if you were selfish, you would say, "Okay, I'm tired. Mm. I'm not going to do it." But the fact that they work together, how do you feel about them now? I feel very inspired, actually, because coming from knowing their background, mm -hmm. uh, Kingy had his bully on the same group, I can imagine they'd just be bickering and having a lot of conflict. Mm -hmm. But seeing after you know, Emily was injured, they put aside their differences and really just chose to help each other to reach that one target, that yeah. one goal, which is to reach a campsite. So I think it's very inspiring. Exactly. And that is why it is so interesting to read this story. And of course, once they reached the camps inside, as we know, they actually, it was they're fighting against uh, two different opposite uh, direction. Okay. There was no, uh, their school teachers and their classmates were no longer there, but the resolution, the happy ending, it wasn't just their teachers and their classmates who were looking after them, who was looking for them. It was also a ranger who brought them back to the awaiting family, teachers and classmates. Oh, so they thankfully. reached the happy ending. Okay. All right. Now, students, when you are learning about plot, okay, you need to address all of these six stages. Okay. Because you need to understand the flow of the story. And also, when you understand which part is conflict, which part is rising action, which part of climax, mm. this is the part of the stress, the tension of the story. And this is where we can see the development of the story happens. So you have to pay attention to the plot chart. Okay. And also, don't forget the falling action, because falling action is when the characters show their true self. Ah. So before this, you can see Okay, I'm going to act popular, I'm going to act arrogant. But as human beings, there is another layer of them. Wow. And the falling action shows the characters true identity. And then we have the resolution. Okay? Okay, so, understood. So, exposition, mm -hmm. conflict, rising action. So, if I recall your graph earlier, rising action, and then at the peak, Yep. Climax. Yep. What's going to happen next? Exactly. Are the characters going to work together? Are they going to continue bickering? What's mm -hmm. happening? 
And then that's where we see the falling action, where they reveal their true characters, their true self, and then a resolution. Is it, is it a happy ending? And, and for this case, yes, it is a happy ending. Yes. Miss Hanin, I have yes. to say, I have not read this before, but just hearing this just made me want to read the, the novel. And what's, what are we doing next, Miss Hanin? Okay, next, yeah. we're going to learn about characters and themes. So I hope the students don't go anywhere. Yes, so my friends on Google Meets, are you okay so far? If you're good, give me a thumbs up. Yep, and for those watching at home as well, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Miss Hanin here on Menengah Atas Kesusasteraan Inggris. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Menengah Atas and today's subject of focus is Kesusastraan Inggris. Uh, my name is Chris MJ and I'm here with Miss Hanin as well. And today, Miss Hanin is actually teaching us more on the novel The Lost King. Now before the break, we talked about and discussed more on the plot and also what consists of a plot in, uh, in a novel. So Miss Hanin, what are we going to do next? Okay, so let's continue. We are going to look at characters, okay? Now, these are the main, main people who are involved in the story, who develop the story. Now, before I go into the characters, I would like to ask one of my students, okay? So, Sankitana, are you there? Yes, Miss Hanin. All right, hello, darling. Okay, so I would like to ask you, who is your favourite character in The Lost King? My favourite character is Kingi because he is a very good leader mm -hmm. for the navigation group and because of him they were able to find a food resource and everything and he's also very patient between all of the members when they were arguing. All right. Wow. Good. Very good. So, so you so know much. your novel. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, darling. Okay. Just like Sankitana said, we are going to go into the main character first. All right. And that main character is Kingy, King. Peter King. Actually, this is the reason why the title is called The, the Lost, Lost King. King, King oh, was lost. Ah, okay. okay. So, The Lost King, main character, Kingy, he is the protagonist of the story. So, protagonist is the, sorry, main character. All right. Initially, he was very reluctant to attend the camping trip. We know this. You know, he got a little bit... He was having a reserved emotion with his, his mom, mother. His mom made him do it. Yes, okay. exactly. Because he's a bit of a alone, uh, likes to stay in the room, mm. likes to read asterisk comic book. This is very old comic book. I know, I know this. Yeah, yes. Tintin asterisk. Okay. Yes. And he plays the badminton. Actually, he's the state level player. Oh, wow. And also, he plays the tuba. So he would say that, you know, popular guys will play the guitar or the drum. But, but he, he plays, plays the tuba, he loves the sound of mm. it. All right, now, just like Sankitana has mentioned, what we find out about Peter, even though he was reluctant to go in the first place, he showed leadership. Kingi was able to lead the group, wow. even though at first he was having all these um, kind of emotions, should I do it, I don't like camping, you know, I'd rather stay at home and all of those. But the good thing about this story is that we see the development of the character. He was able to be a leader, all right? And he was able to lead the group to survive and find food. Actually, in the story, he mm. found oysters. 
so that they could eat. Yum. Yum. And of course, one thing about uh, King Yi is that he's patient, especially in dealing with Sully and Bethany. Mm. Two very hard-headed... Uh, Wooly and the popular girl. And the popular girl. Right. And actually, they were exes, so... Oh, huh. oh okay. Miss Sunny, before you proceed, yes. actually for everyone watching at home as well, as we are going through the characters, maybe you can also think, who is my favourite character? Who, are, who is your favourite character from The Lost King? Okay, Miss Sunny. I agree. Yeah. Exactly. And as we go through it, then you will see, oh yes, that's my favourite character. Yeah. Alright. Now, since this is the main character, Okay, we will actually look at the other three main also okay. uh, characters. And we can see it first with Emily. Now, Emily is the new girl. Okay, what we found out about Emily is that she's very caring. Right? And this we can see because she made sure that the members have, have received to, uh, are able to drink some water. Mm. As we know in the story, the only thing that helps them survive, they don't have food, the only thing is that water bottle, Emily's water bottle. Mm. So she made sure that everybody was able to eat, uh, sorry, drink to make sure that they are dehydrated, all right? Uh, sorry, dehydrated. dehydrated. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, not dehydrated, yes. Yes. So sorry, thank you so much, Chris. Right, now one thing about Emily, she's like the mom, okay? So she was able to calm them down even during conflicts, okay? Wow, that's and good. One of the good things is that she's able to get through to Sally. Wow. Because uh, okay. she's very, uh, she's not aggressive. Mm. She doesn't challenge Sally. So uh, Sally is alpha male, yeah. right? So she knows how to communicate with Sally exactly. in a very way. Exactly. Okay. So that's why she's the mediator mm. in arguments. All right. Then we have Bethany. Now, Bethany hates the outdoors. Popular girl, l very princess like attitude. Ill. Oh, no. No, Ill. no thanks. Let me take care of my manicure. Yeah. Okay, that is Bethany. Okay. Right? However, the good thing about her is that in the face of fear, she would sing to help her friends feel calm. Aww. So she has a role in the group. Nice. Right. And then we have Sully. Now, Sully, we see as the bully. At first, we were like, oh is no, it, the he's tormentor. The jock, is it? Yeah, he's the jock, he's the athlete. Okay. So he's confident, he's arrogant, and he's athletic. He's a mm. big, uh, his body is a bit bigger than um, Kingy. King. He seems brave. Okay, this is the thing. He seems brave because he leads them. Oh, sorry, secret. right? But he actually, actually has a secret. He fears oh, the dark. No. Oh no. Uh, so this is when Emily calmed him down. It's okay, oh, wow. all right? Now, he used to bully Kingy, but also at the very end showed he cared for others by taking turns in carrying injured Emily and he scouted the correct track later. Right. Okay. So he does have his, his role. role. In the group. Yep. Okay. Okay. And so that is about the characters that we have seen. We see them develop throughout the novel. It's not initially the beginning. We see them as one type of character. Then at the very end, we see the development to another type of characters, mm. the matured characters. Miss Anin, is yes. it okay if I ask one of another friend, uh, what, who are their favorite sure. characters? Yeah, maybe I would like to ask Jamila. Jamila, who is your favourite character? I'm curious to know. Uh, my favourite character from this novel is definitely Jai Sliven. Although he was quite stubborn and egoistic, he still has a sense of responsibilities on, of his own action. And he led the whole group to explore the forest safely with his geographical knowledge. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Jamila. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. So we have one who likes Kingy, one yeah. who likes Sally. Sally. So that is very good. Yeah, okay. the sense of responsibility is what Jamila Yes, okay. all right. So let's go to the next themes. section. Themes. Okay. Now, themes is the overall idea, the overall message. What do you get from this novel? Okay. All right. Now, before we go into the themes, okay. I would like to ask some of my students, what do you think the themes are? Okay, so can I have... Janusha, so what do you think is one of the themes? Good afternoon, Miss. Um, the two things that I think is self-belief and trust. Okay. All right. Um, self okay, so thank you. Okay, so why? Why do you think it's self-belief and trust? Um, because they believe each other uh, while traveling the wilderness camp. And also trust uh, because they, they, um, they Bentony, Emily, King, Susie, everyone trusts each other uh, while they are traveling the wilderness camp. 
Good, very good. Because they need to survive. Very good, Janusha. Thank you so much. Nice one, Janusha. All right. Okay. So just like Janusha has mentioned, it's self-belief. All right. Now okay. let's look at the themes. Okay. We have five. One is on determination and perseverance because the students are lost. Mm. So this is where you see yourself, you push yourself, you see whether you have the spirit to yes. keep on or you're going to give up. Yeah. And are we you... didn't see that. Yep. Yep. So the, the, even those these four um, uh, students who didn't get along, but they knew that they had to somehow work together and do not give up. They're not going to sit there and then just cry their eyes out. Yes. So they push each other, even by challenging each other, yep. to make sure that they are able to reach the uh, campsite. Now, hope and disappointment. Hope wow. and disappointment is also one of them because they were able to hear sounds when they are trying, when they are lost, they're going through the wilderness, they're able to hear sounds. And they were able to see the helicopters, the sound of the helicopters. So when they see the sound, hear the sound of the helicopters, they knew that they were actually being looked for. Mm. Okay. So there's hope. There's hope. Mm. But the disappointment comes in. It's like, you know, as you know the story, they will say, oh my God, that's the helicopter. Then the helicopter didn't see them. Oh no. And then they'll be like, oh, we're going to be saved. And it's like, oh no. What? What's going to happen now? And mm. then, of course, start blaming each other. Lah. All right. But then they had to move on. So hope and disappointment, there's a lot of this, um, the, the sightings of the helicopters happens mm. quite frequently. So, how are you going to make sure you have the strength to move on? Then, most importantly, camaraderie. Chris, do you know what camaraderie is? Camaraderie is like friendship. Very good. Okay. Yes. It is the building the spirit of friendship, the trust that you have. Because remember, they didn't have that at the beginning. Mm. But the story showed, as you go through all these obstacles, yeah. yep, they are able to build the trust and the kinship with one another. Very nice. Okay. All right. And then, at first, they didn't, they went through all of those things. They were not able to do the one thing that is important, trust. Yes. Okay. But at the end, they had to trust each other. Put aside the history, put mm -hmm. aside the background. All right. We are uh, in one, we are in the same predicament and we have to help each other and I'm going to start trusting you. And they did. And by trusting each other, they started to see the other side of the person. It's no longer the stereotype, I don't like you because when you were in primary school, you bullied me. Mm. They were able to see, oh, these characters have changed. So I can see them in a different light. Wow. Right. So this is the development of characters and also the story. And most importantly, Self-belief. I think this is important, don't you, Chris? Yes, I think this is so important in any everybody. We yes. need a good. We need self-belief. Yeah, this is a very good team. Right, self-belief is because at the beginning, Kingy didn't want to go to the camping trip. Mm. He felt that, you know, it's going to be boring. I don't have it. I'm not a Yeah, I'd rather stay at home, read Asterix. Yeah. It's the school holidays. Why am I going there? Uh, when am I going to do this? But at the end of the day, he found out that if he believed himself, he pushed himself, I can do this, I'm going to go through it. Wow. And then he finds so much things that he didn't know about himself. Oh, I can be a leader. I can think calmly. You wow. know, I'm not going to enter an argument. I can be patient. So these are the things that when you find out more about yourself, it could reach to self Leave. Wow, so right. these are the themes uh, in The Lost King, yes. right? Uh, determination and perseverance, camaraderie, self-belief, trust and hope and disappointment. These are beautiful themes, by the way, for, for the novel. Um, and before this, so Miss Hanin, what are, we are actually not done with the lesson, right? We actually oh, no. have another exercise after this. Yes, we do have an exercise yeah, after so this. So students don't go anywhere just yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, just to give you a quick recap, so Miss Hanin brought us through the characters. Who are your favourite characters? Yeah, so this is a question to think about in the novel, The Lost King. And also, what are the themes that are portrayed in the novel? Yep. And so, after this, we'll be coming back with an um, exercise from Miss Hanin. So, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Menengah Atas for Kesusasteraan Inggris.
TV KPM Dede TV KPM Hi everyone, you are now watching Menengah Atas on the subject of Kesusasteraan Inggris. And my name is Chris MJ, I'm here with Miss Hanin as well. And just before the break, we were talking about the characters of mm -hmm. the novel The Lost King, mm -hmm. the themes, the plot, and my friends, it is now time for some exercise. Not, not this kind of exercise, okay, but the mental <laughs> exercise. So Miss Hanin will uh, have a, a question for us. But for those watching at home, and on Google Meet as well, you can try along. All right. So, Miss Hanin, what is the exercise for today? Okay. So, before we go into the exercise, we are going to look at the curriculum standard that okay. is related to the exercise. Okay. So, first of all, this exercise is going to see whether you can inform personal response. Okay. Mm. But okay. you can refer it uh, refer it to the text. All right. If you don't want to, because it's based on the question, we'll see whether it is applicable but informal personal response is important what do you think about it all right then we have the learning standard relate themes messages issues and text so themes messages and issues you have to relate it to the pupil's own experience all right now are you ready chris i'm ready bound with ask my friends on google meets are you ready ladies if you're ready give me a double thumbs up Okay, so we're all, all ready. Right. Okay, so let's look at the question for our exercise today. Ooh. Now, let's see. This is your personal response. If you could only have three things to bring with you during a camping trip, what would you bring and why? Mm. So there are three elements here. First of all, you have to think of three things to bring with you on the camping trip. I want to know what is it, and then why did you choose those three things? Miss Hanin, only three? Uh? Only three. Oh, you. Okay, okay. You, you cannot bring your whole house with you. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm going to give my students, and of course the students at home, mm. two minutes to think about it, right? Okay. So while you're thinking about it, Chris, Okay. I'm going to grill you. Uh, okay, this is... Only three things. This is very difficult. Only, Only three, three, yeah. So okay, I would say, firstly, my backpack. Okay. Okay. Uh, why or later? Maybe I share the reason okay. later. Okay. So give me the first. Right? Backpack. Water bottle. Water bottle. And my handphone. My smartphone. Handphone. Yes. Okay. Okay. So three of these things. All right. Why? So backpack, uh, to store more things. Uh, maybe I can just keep my water bottle inside, okay. my, sm my smartphone, or in case there's any emergency, at least I can use the bag for storage. That's one. That's one. Good. So for the water bottle, you know, to stay hydrated, water is very important. You got to drink water like e almost every almost every time, every hour of the day. Yep. So making sure I stay hydrated. And in case I'm in the same situation as Kingy, okay. at least I have something to survive. So that's that. True. And last but not least, my handphone. I mean, you're probably wondering, why? Why is so important? Well, in case of any emergencies, okay. I can try to... Of course, there's no Wi-Fi, but I probably try to call, you know, call for help. Maybe like a 911 or something. All right. And also, because we're going camping, it's going to be outdoors, it's going to be beautiful sceneries, I want to take nice photos ah. and post it on Instagram, you know. <laughs> so that, that is the one of the, the, the three things that I'll be reading on the camping site. I hope that answers the question. Yes, okay. That yeah. is very good, actually. I was thinking about why, why on earth are you going to use your handphone? Is it because, okay, if there's an emergency, okay, it's yeah. easy. But it's true. Nowadays, everything, scenery, selfie, Correct. that is important. Yes, hashtag. Memories mm -hmm. on Instagram. Correct. Okay. Hashtag me too. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, that is Chris's answers. Now, students, are you ready? Okay. Thumbs up if you're ready with your answers. 
Okay, I am going to call Yazi. Can you please share me your three things that you would like to bring during a camping trip and why did you choose those three things? Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you to Miss Hanin for giving me the question. Um, I think the most important three things to me would be water okay. and obviously food and definitely my smartphone. Okay. <laughs> yes. So that's a gang. Same team, same team. Same yeah. thing. <laughs> All right. Why? Um, I'll definitely bring my water bottle because obviously if there is any like river or anything, I can like store water mm -hmm. in case I had already finished the water I had brought. Okay. And I would bring food that would be able to like store long so that in case I do get lost in the wilderness, I'll be able to like have some source of food. Okay. And my phone, my smartphone, as uh, Chris had already mentioned, we already have like so much of um, things that we can use our smartphones. Mm. So obviously, like using my phone, more, I will be able to like call someone for help or take pictures. Yep. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much, darling. Okay. So that is Yazi's answer. Now. So uh, Miss Sunny, she did give three things. Yep. And she uh, explained what would it, what were they and also why. Yes. So that is the question. That okay. is very important, and okay. this is something that students don't forget when you are doing literature question. You have to rationalize the why. It's not just statements, here, darlings. Okay. So who's next? All right. So who's next? Now let's see. Um, can I have Twinkle? Yes, teacher. All right. Uh, the three things I would bring with me are torchlight, mm -hmm. water, and a whistle. Like because torchlight is for me to see the direction okay. clearly at night, and All a right. whistle is to notify people as it is loud when we use it to blow. Ah. So people would come and search for us. Right. And last but not least, water to let us stay hydrated, and everyone needs water to survive. See, wow. so we have another different answers yeah. here. Whistle, very good. Right. Torchlight, and torch whistle, light. Yep. and water. And whistle and water. And it's a good thing because whistle, you don't have any batteries. You just blow yeah, on yeah. it and then you can just use it at any time and any day for people to yep. notice you. That's very good, Twinkle. Miss Anin, actually twinkle, Twinkle's items are very suitable and ready for an emergency actually. True. Yeah, nice one, Twinkle. Yes. Thank okay. you. Very good. All right, now, let's see. Yeah, I would like to, let's, should we ask uh, Sophia? Oh, yeah, sure. Sophia? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Caught off guard. Caught off okay. guard, okay. Three things. So what are your three things? Um, so, three things to bring while getting lost. Uh, water, of course, to keep myself hydrated while searching my way back. Um, a safety kit. It might be useful, um, helpful in case I'll get injured or I can use the tools for other purposes. And last but not least, uh, candies. If there's no candy. food available, candies can, candy. yeah, candies can ensure that you are still consuming something and you'll not get any dizzy spells uh, ah. for a time. Ah, wow. very PBSM. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very true because true. sometimes when we are camping, our, yeah. our sugar level might drop. And candies will help us, you know, like keep that glucose level on, on a good, yes. good level. Yeah. Nice that one, is, Sophia. That is very good critical thinking. Yep. So you have water, safety, uh, an aid box, first yep. aid kit, and of course, candies. Candy. Very good. Very sweet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we can have one last person. Can I have Janusha? Yes, teacher. All right. So what I are the three things? I, I think I would bring a sleeping bag because. Obviously, uh, we can't sleep on the ground, so we should we have to sleep comfortable. So I think sleeping bag will be suitable for us to sleep well. Okay. Um, the second, I think, a uh, tent because uh, tent will provide us shelter and to provide us from uh, shelter. Um, third, I think uh, it would be pot because pot uh, can boil water and cook and provide us food. Mm. So the, the three I would bring uh, for a camp. Ah, pot. 
pot, yeah, I never thought of that. Yes. Because we, need to, we can use that to cook, right? Exactly. And sleeping bag also, sleeping bag, very true, Janusha. Tent. And tent as well. So he's a, she's actually prepared and I think that because you're living in the wilderness, so you're yeah. using nature. Okay. All right. Now, darlings, thank you so much for all your answers. Now, for the teachers out there, especially when you want to look at the varieties of exercises that you can find or use in your classroom for Kristus Sastra and Inggris 2206, please look at Sumberku in KPM's The Lima Portal. All right. Wow. Thank you so much, Miss Hanin, for today's lesson. And Thank looks like, much. okay, the school bell has rung. It's time for our next class. But I just want to say, for all of you watching today, I would love to have you on my camping team. You know, because you have uh, you you bring your pot, you know, sleeping bag, tents, and then we can just work together, right? So, Miss Hanin, before we actually wrap up today, maybe you want to share with us like a, a quick summary on you know for for students watching and also for students watching to answer how to answer these these questions for for Kesusastra English. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Chris. Now, for this kind of question in Kesusastra and English, number one, you need to know your text. Now, um, understand your students, if you are taking Kesus Sastra and Ingres, your teachers will not read the text with you in the class because there's so much text. So please do your reading well. And please read at least minimum three times so that you will understand the story very well. Okay? And then take into consideration, please take note of the main characters, the plot, the themes, mm. the symbolisms that you can see through it, how do they develop and most of all, how do they change? How do the characters change? What are the settings in the plot that support or actually push them, drives them to these changes? Okay. okay, Because that is where you get your marks for your SPM. There you have it. That's the tip. So students, do read your text. And for today's text, we were learning The Lost King. So once again, I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone watching as well as Miss Hanin for giving us such a beautiful class today. I really learned so much about the novel. Thanks. And also to all my friends on Google Meets all the way from Ipo. Um, how are you guys doing? If you guys enjoyed the class, give me a big smile. Yeah, <laughs> there you have it. And we will see you again in future episodes here on d TV KPM. Bye everyone. Bye-bye.